Hi, I'm John, and this video is on prepping a Texid block, uh, what I do, what I like to do, and a little bit about uh, the Texid block itself. The Texid block was forged in Italy uh, by a company called Texid, and uh, they were aluminum blocks. This block is 75 pounds lighter than uh, a cast iron block, and it was found in the 93 to 90, 99, uh, might even be 92 uh, Lincoln Mark 8s, as well as the 96 to 98 Cobras. This block will take uh, either a two valve head, a three valve head, or a four valve head. The Coyote 5.0 cylinder heads will not fit on this block, but all the other ones will. So this block was uh, machined with uh, our torque plates on there, and you want to put torque plates on aluminum blocks specifically uh, because it can distort the cylinder walls uh, once you torque them down. So you want to simulate those heads being on there with the torque plate. There's a couple other things I like to do to these blocks prior to sending them off to the machine shop. Uh, one is get uh, the majority of the gunk off of it, any of the any caked on oil or dirt that might be on there. Sometimes in the valley here, uh, you can even find like mouse droppings and stuff like that. You want to blow that out. If you're going to blow them out, clean them out. You might want to wear a mask because that some of that stuff can be toxic the the mouse poop and rat poop if they got in there and made a nest which they like to do in these v8 engines another thing prior to machine i like to do is remove the freeze plugs drain plug i'm sorry drain plug right here and your jack screws make sure you don't lose these jack screws uh, they don't make them anymore and sometimes machine shops will lose them if you can, put your jack screws, this is what they look like. Put those in a little Ziploc bag so you don't lose them. Here's your mains. Your machine shop should need uh, at least the outer mains. These are numbered from the factory. I'm not sure if you'll be able to see that on the camera or not, but it's they're factory stamped. One, two, three, four, and five. And there's also a directional arrow on these which points to the front. These are the modifications I make to the valley. I cut off the, if this is gonna go on a two valve or a three valve in order to clear uh, the intake manifold, the bosses for the knock sensors go right here on, on these engines, uh, but the two valve doesn't use them. And there's also a little nub right here that I like to, to grind off. I also do that prior to sending it to the machine shop. Here you can see the freeze plugs out of the front as well as as well as the oil gallery plug been removed so looking at the engine from the front uh, some people will prefer to modify the block if it's going to be used in a two valve and here's where you would drill a hole and all that does is allow coolant to flow into a, a passage in the two valve heads. I don't know if it's needed on the three valve heads or not. Um, I've done these engines. I've used this block with two valve heads without drilling that hole and had no issues. So it depends on who you talk to, whether or not uh, you want to drill that, drill that hole inside there. Okay, the first thing I like to do when these engine blocks come back from the machine shop is blow out all of the threaded, uh, threaded holes. Here you can see there's, there's two of them that have a dowel, locating dowel for the heads. So you're just going to take your blower, shove it down in there, put it down in there. Careful not to damage the threads while you're doing this and just blow it out. Wipe, wipe any of the excess cleaner that came out of there or any solvent or anything like that that came off of it. Just nice and clean. Once all the thread holes are blown out, I like to use uh, ARP thread chaser. This is not a tap. This just chases the threads. Once it's attached to the T-handle, just insert it in.
Run it all the way down until it stops. Then I like to use Chemtech Aviation Cleaning Wipes, they're lint-free. Uh, these rags work really well. Then I take some Redline ATF D4, synthetic. You can use any kind of ATF oil. Uh, the reason being is uh, ATF has uh, detergents in there and cleaners in there. And you're going to take some of this and put it on a rag and you're going to clean out the cylinder bores. You can see how much grime comes out of there and this just came back from the machine shop so doing this is definitely going to be a good idea and I rotated it around flip it around and then repeat repeat on all the cylinders here's a look after they've been cleaned with ATF So now that you've cleaned all your cylinder bores, chased all your threaded holes uh, for your heads, and you can blow them back out again after you've chased them. Uh, some, some people will use uh, brake cleaner as well, you spray that in there, blow it out, spray that in there, chase it, uh, and then blow it out afterwards. Make sure you, you, you coat everything with nice coating of ATF. Uh, that, that's gonna protect your surfaces. It's been, well, that's about it for out here. Okay, that's pretty much it. Uh, that's all, all I have on this video for the Texit block. If you have any questions, post them down below in the comment section and I'll reply as best I can. Uh, don't forget to subscribe. There's going to be more to come. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to do more videos on assembling short blocks and long blocks and even installations of other parts. Uh, so click that subscribe button down below.